All right, let's go to Jackson. It's going to be chilly. Look at this. As we begin the morning, we're in the teens and we've got clear skies, 18 degrees, not much of a wind. Uh, and that's good news. It'll keep us a, a little a little warmer. Uh, the sun is up and it's 21 in salmon. Good morning from the jet port with the jet fuel. Feels like about 16 degrees with that little push from the east southeast at three. Here's Idaho Falls where it's 23 brilliant sunshine and it feels like it's about 14 with the winds out of the north at about eight. And let me swing this around a little bit here and show you that beautiful sun as we get into the morning. It is just phenomenal to take in God's beauty at this time of the day and enjoy it with uh, maybe the kids as y'all go to school. Just make sure you have the sunglasses today here. We swing that camera around so you can take a look without hurting your eyeballs. Yeah, it's pretty nice and it is a pretty, a pretty good look for us over Idaho Falls and the Great Snake. So it's a beautiful, beautiful start to the day there. Just appreciate what we got here because if you go east, uh, it's not looking too good. We're going to keep these showers to our south out of the way. High pressure will help with that. We'll have some more that will push into the uh, northern part of Utah. I'm sorry, Idaho, as we get into portions of a Thursday. But the rest of the country is frozen. This, this is unbelievable. People are complaining. You know, those folks need to just get a grip uh, and some thermals. Or as I like to say, thermal underwear, long johns. Yeah, 18 degrees in Jackson, 23 in Idaho Falls, 23 in Pocatello. It's 30 in Ketchum, 25 in Mackey this morning, 22 in Island Park. Breezes 5, 10, 15 miles an hour. Lake Wind Advisory is in effect for the American Falls Reservoir, and we'll still have those breezes at the north, 10 to 15 miles an hour. The gust this morning up to 17 in Blackfoot for that little nook of our world. We've got 29 mile an hour gusts this hour into Twin Falls. That's because they were just trying to push people back to Boise. 22 in Du Bois in the canyon there and 13 in Rexburg. Rapid fire sunshine. There is uh, no coverage whatsoever with cloudiness. Just that brief trough that is ahead of this front. And it, by about Thursday evening, we're going to see some uh, scattered snow showers as we get into Chalice and Salmon and up toward West Yellowstone. And the breezes will begin to pick up. They'll shift to the southwest and we start to get the clouds in here for Friday. The winds are going to be constant today of, t you know, t 5 to 10 miles an hour, gusting to maybe 12, 15. But as we get into Thursday, you'll see more uh, 10 to 20 mile an hour winds blowing through here as they shift to the southwest. And we'll have the potential for gust deep into the Snake River plain and it will be a brisk day with the clouds beginning to form. So sunny today, upper 40s into western Wyoming and Driggs 49 into Island Park. It'll be 57 in Blackfoot, closer to 60 degrees into Pocatello. Breezy on into tomorrow, limited shower chances. A lot of that's going to be cloudiness here. And then we'll take a break on Saturday before we get another shower chance that is more substantial by the end of the weekend. The same for Pocatello. It's going to warm up into the 60s by tomorrow. It'll feel like that today, though, right around 59. Blackfoot 57 a day, breezy with some clouds and showers across the area, but mainly cloud coverage, we think. Uh, and then Saturday, a break with some sun poking through before the next system really pushes the chances of some spring activity in here for Monday and on into Tuesday, uh, lingering for Rexburg after we uh, get a high of about 62 for the period. Salmon will be 58 today and then about 59 tomorrow and we'll get some shower chances in here for the back end of the weekend. And in Jackson, where things are looking brilliantly nice this morning, it'll be 48 and 21 tonight, right around 53 tomorrow. Hey, what food do you think is better burnt? How do you like it a little toasty? Call us on the Hollaback line. Sports is next.